It helps with the baking process too and makes it the heat. Interested in perching? <laughs>
freeze them, you can cook with them, you can bring them anywhere, you can take them through TSA. These will be your best friend and for a thousand uses per bag, you'll really get your money's worth. And I forgot the best part, they're dishwasher safe. The next item on my list is going to be wool dryer balls. If you wash your clothes and you dry them often, you know those little dryer sheets can get stuck in your clothes or find them anywhere. They just kind of get a little crazy. But if you use wool dryer balls, they actually don't put any chemicals on your clothing. They help reduce static, help smooth wrinkles, and are much better for the environment. We have had ours for over two years now. You can add a little bit of essential oils to them to make your clothes smell really nice. And if you want, you can get them wet and then dry them again in the dryer to bring them back to life. I'm going back to old times with this swap, but can we just bring back bar soap? We're all used to pump soap and foam washing and dispensers, but bar soap is a great alternative. They always come in recyclable packaging and they usually last longer than three containers worth of soap alone. So you're saving money and you're saving environment at the same time. I'm not just talking about hand soap either. You can use bar soap as your body wash as well. And you can even give some local love to vendors because a lot of people in your area probably make their own soap and probably use better ingredients than these mass produced bars anyways. So try a little body wash, try a little hand soap and save the environment while you're doing it. When I was using liquid soap, I don't know why, but I would always opt for multiple pumps. I always felt like I needed more for more lather or I just needed to feel it all in my hands at one time. So I would always waste all of that product. Now with bar soap, I feel like I use it and I, it lasts a lot longer and I'm not overusing my product. Did you know that 27,000 trees are cut down a day to make toilet paper? It seems pretty ridiculous, especially when there's better options out there. No, I'm not saying giving up your toilet paper. I'm just saying making better choices when it comes to purchasing it. You can opt for either bamboo toilet paper, or if you want to save a little bit of money, opt for recycled toilet paper. Both are great options and will save over 9 million trees a year. So let's keep our trees in the environment to pull carbon, shade trees, and keep the temperatures cool. We don't need them for toilet paper. Do you ever take your food to go? If you do, then you know you get plastic utensils in everything. You can get them at any store, you can get them in your to-go packages. Most people opt to give you that plastic cutlery and utensils, which is pretty wasteful, especially because those can't be recycled. One opportunity I think you could make a nice zero waste swap is bringing your own set of utensils. A lot of people opt for bamboo, or you can just bring a set that you have from home. Tie them up in a napkin, put them in your purse or your backpack, and you'll always have something whenever you're feeling hungry. If you're placing a to-go order, just make sure to tell the restaurant that you don't need cutlery. There's been so many times that I'll get my order and there's those plastic little utensils at the bottom and I get so frustrated. So save yourself the trouble and ask for no cutlery in advance. Even though I'm a dishwasher girl myself, sometimes I or Isaac has to do some dishes and they're the worst for one and for two, those sponges are actually made of usually all plastic. If you can opt for a bamboo brush, then you can clean your dishes and be eco-friendly. And when those get old and dingy, you can just throw them in the compost and they'll break down just like anything else. If you're a baker, swapping to silicone baking mats are a game changer. Parchment paper is just a waste. So can we just opt for no parchment paper 2020? Silicone baking mats make your heating even and help cook your products even faster as well. So let's just use the reusable option and save ourselves some money on single use parchment paper. The next item I wanna talk about is something a little bit random, but something that I think makes a big difference that we don't oftentimes think about, and that's compostable trash bags. If you're really trying to reduce putting plastic into your homes, what you don't realize is every time you buy trash bags, you're bringing more plastic into your home. It's really beneficial to buy compostable bags so that when you take out your trash and it's at the dump, these bags actually decompose so the trash inside actually has a chance to then break down as well. 
Something that we should all be pretty familiar with at this point is bamboo toothbrushes. So the point about it is these brushes, unlike their plastic counterparts, can just go in the compost or in the trash and will break down naturally, unlike plastic toothbrushes. These brushes are great for travel if you have electric toothbrushes at home or really great to have in your desk or on the go. It's just an alternative option to plastic and now you can tell your dentist that you don't need that toothbrush after your visit. On the topic of dental hygiene, let's talk about floss. Every time you floss your teeth, all those fibers are made of plastic and that's in your teeth, that goes in your mouth, that goes in your stomach and thinking about all that plastic kind of makes me sick. So opt for something with more natural fibers. So bamboo or charcoal, something that will actually break down in the trash can after you use it and won't just be there for years to come. When it comes to washing your dishes, in the dishwasher to be specific, dishwashing tabs can be a great resource. However, they're usually full of tons of chemicals and are really bad for our waters. It gets into our pipes and goes into the ocean and it's just gross. So opt for a more natural based dishwashing tab. It'll break down easier, it'll clean your dishes easier, and it'll probably be better on your health as well. So make the swap, it'll help the environment and probably help you too. In addition to dishwashing tabs, laundry tabs are also a great option. Traditional laundry tabs have a lot of chemicals in them as well, or even if you buy the jugs, that's another big jug of plastic that you either have to recycle or find a way to get rid of. So opt for laundry tabs to save on plastic, to save on chemicals, and to make it a lot more convenient. The next item I wanna talk about is something I made a swap with probably about five years ago and never realized it. I don't know about you, but batteries are freaking expensive. So back in the day, I bought rechargeable batteries and I've never gone back since. It's a quick little swap that you can keep using again and again. You can get them in all sizes and it's just nice to be able to charge them on your wall when needed and you'll never have to go to the store to buy batteries again. For one of my last items, I wanted to talk about reusable straws. It's definitely something in the media today. Save the turtles, let's get on board, but you have plenty of options. You have metal straws, you have bamboo straws, you have glass straws. We all have an option and we should all do our part. It's a really quick swap that you can keep in your purse, your car, or have at home every time you need a drink. It really does make a difference. If you're a tea drinker like me, every single night pretty much, then you'll love reusable tea bags. Instead of having to buy those tea bags at the store that are full of plastic that you can't actually decompose, opt for reusable tea bags. You can put all your favorite tea inside. After you're done the tea, you can clean it out and reuse it again and again. And last but not least, when you're in the store and you're replacing sheets or clothes or socks or anything, opt for more sustainable materials. You can buy bamboo, you can buy organic. All of these materials really do make a difference. And I think it's a small step in the right direction to showing different companies the kinds of products we wanna make. And whew, we're at 20 products. I know that that can take a lot of time to replace each and every one of those, but take your time. Like I said before, as each item runs out or breaks down on you, it makes it a lot easier to make a better swap and you'll be saving a lot of money in the long run as well. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite swap is or what swap you want to make coming up soon. Interested in any of the products we talked about today? Check the links in the description below for a full list of our favorites and some swaps for those as well. And last but not least, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, guys. See you again soon.